Hey gang, Azrak here and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be testing out some Elegoo products and I'll be giving you my opinions on them. This video is not sponsored by Elegoo, so I'll provide you with my honest opinions while highlighting the pros and cons of these products. My take on this will be slightly biased towards action figure use cases because of the things I like to print and my particular use of 3D printing. So please consider this factor while making a decision. Elegoo have today sent us the Elegoo AK Resin in the red clay colorway, Elegoo ABS Lite 3.0 in the translucent green colorway, and the Elegoo Resin Detergent. We will take a look at how these resins will work for different action figure use cases and if we can use these to print out full action figures. And we will also review how the detergent works for our resins. So firstly, we will look at the Elegoo AK Resin. The resin is priced at a reasonable $29.99 and Elegoo will consistently provide discounts and discounted prices on their resins so more times than not you'll get a discounted price for this resin. There are a variety of available colors for this resin to choose from, namely the Space Grey, Vanilla, White Smoke and the one that we're looking at in today's video, the Red Clay. The resins are advertised to have bright and stunning colors with high precision and low shrinkage along with ease to operate qualities and a safe low order formula. With my experience, I can definitely say that the liquid resin has high viscosity which gives it a rich premium feel. The red clay variant has a very pleasing color tone that captures details and showcases them really well. The resin holds a lot of detail from your sculpt and is typically only limited by how much detail your printer can produce. So if you have one of the newer resin printers that have XY resolution of 24 microns or less, you will see excellent results with this resin. The uncured resin also has a slight amount of flex to the parts which should make support removal slightly easier and hopefully breakage free. However, like with any other resin, there are some drawbacks to this as well. The resin is not the best for action figures and joints, especially for articulation. The resin is not flexible even when heated, so attaching parts for action figures will not work. The resin also grinds and produces dust when used for articulation scenarios, so if you put this resin on its own self, it will grind. The rigidity of this resin also makes it easier to break due to the lack of flexibility, so this resin is not feasible to use for articulating action figure parts. The resin, in my opinion, will work best for printing minis, statues, high detail ornaments and show pieces and it will also do a great job for printing accessories and parts that do not need to grind or articulate. To showcase the quality of this resin, I have printed out a few things. Initially, I printed out a leg for my Deathstroke action figure along with its head sculpt and his sword. All of these parts turned out crisp and clean and looked beautiful in the red clay color. The head had accurate details and captured everything I would need for my figure. The sword also turned out epic, although my support could have been slightly better. The Deathstroke legs also held awesome details, along with the armor sculpt and the intricate chainmail details. However, the resin was scratching and grinding on itself. So to test the actual joint, I heated the parts for quite a long time, but I still could not get it to be flexible enough to accept the knee joint, so the parts could never fit in. I did get some flex in the incredibly thin parts like the bandana on the head sculpt, but not on the thicker joint parts. When I tried to assemble the figure, due to the resin being rigid, I did break the socket, but there was a silver lining to that, because once I had broken it, I could finally get the joint to fit in the cavity, and I could demonstrate the grinding on this resin. Since I could not make this resin work for action figures, and I wanted to showcase some of the details this resin can capture, I printed out the Berserk 3D Hawkman model available for free on Cults 3D. This print turned out really well, the detail captured by this resin is actually incredible and I really like how intricate the muscle work is and how detailed the mace is on the statue. I especially also love how the wings turned out because all of the feathers look very intricate and varied and the artist has put a lot of love to capture so much detail on each feather. I did mess up when it comes to using the pre-supported parts. Now I don't know if this was something I did while preparing the parts or it was caused by the slicer but it had some weird artifacts all over the figure's torso and trunks. And I believe I had issues with these parts because they were hollowed and pre-supported. So something caused these issues. Gluing the parts together were also super simple. But since I did not mess around with statues too much, I kind of did not sand or smoothen out the parts enough to ensure like a seamless fit. So the end result is a bit gappy.
The second resin we are trying out today is the Elegoo ABS Like 3.0 resin. Now for this resin, we are specifically trying out the translucent green variant. The resin is priced at an amazing $19.99 uh, USD, which I think is a great, great price for any kind of resin. The resin also has a variety of color offerings. The eight available options are gray, black, translucent red, translucent green, translucent, mint green, yellow, and smoky black. The resin also has some amazing qualities that I wanted to highlight. The resin feels incredibly easy to print due to the low viscosity and I had a 100% success rate with this resin. The resin is also very clear and translucent and it looks beautiful when printing. Also has some great flexibility when heated as well, which is exactly what we need for joints. And although it grinds with other parts printed in the ABS 3.0 resin, it did not grind with my action figure joints printed in the Resi 1 resins. So that worked out a treat. And articulating parts could actually work if this resin was paired with Resi 1 joints. The drawbacks, however, to this resin are that it still grinds with parts printed in other ABS-like resins. And there is dusting when the parts grind, which is part and parcel. The parts will not work for action figures on its own. However, if you mix and match, you might have good options there. But because this is a translucent resin, it just really works well for accessories. So I requested this resin specifically from Elegoo in this colorway so that I can print out some Green Lantern accessories. And the Elegoo 3.0 translucent green worked perfectly for this. I printed out a few Green Lantern constructs using this resin. And I printed out a flame fist construct that joins at the wrist, a fist punch construct that joins at the elbow, a Green Lantern power battery, a sniper projectile weapon, and an automated projectile weapon. The accessories that connect to the figure as articulating pieces work really well. Since the ABS Like 3.0 is flexible when heated, the resin could easily be used as swap parts. The fist construct works really well and looks absolutely stunning. Although I could have placed the supports in the figure slightly better to minimize the visible supports within the body of the part. However, from what I can see, the printed parts are clean and without any flaws despite the hollowing and I don't hollow too much, so I don't have too much experience there. The next time I print these parts, I will definitely make sure not to add any supports internally to enhance the see-through see effect of this resin. The power battery and the projectile weapons also printed very, very well, and I mentioned them separately because they were not hollowed. I could not find any issues with the print, so that's a really good thing. The prints have a mixed level of transparency due to the varying thickness of the parts at different places, so the colors may look a bit inconsistent when looking at it in normal light. However, if we have enough backlight, the parts look perfectly translucent and absolutely stunning. The third product Elgu wanted me to try out and showcase in this video was the Elgu Resin Detergent. This detergent is a replacement or an alternate for IPA. On any normal occasion, I would use 100% IPA for my cleanups, but I have had the resin detergent for a couple months now, and the detergent definitely cleans well and is almost similar to IPA in terms of cleaning properties. The detergent does not evaporate as quickly as IPA, so you will not have to worry as much when it comes to closing the lid on the container ASAP. With the same amount of use, the detergent is less cloudy than IPA, and the smell is not too strong and smells more like a, a scented detergent rather than the strong smells of IPA, which is a good thing. And the detergent is priced at $44.99 for a five liter bottle. The downsides to this detergent is that the chemicals still feel very strong and can damage wooden surfaces similar to IPA if exposed for a long period of time. There is a slippery feeling to the resin printed parts once it's done cleaning in the detergent. Since the detergent does not evaporate as quickly as IPA, the printed models may take slightly longer to dry before curing. Now, I have not used the detergent in warm summers yet since it is still a bit chilly here in Melbourne, but I have had to use a hair dryer a couple of times to get the models fully dry and ready for curing. So after testing everything out, here are my conclusions. The Elegoo AK resin will work incredibly well for miniatures and statues, and you can also get some amazing results with accessories and head sculpts printed in this resin. The resin will hold a lot of detail and the color choices will provide a good way to showcase your prints without needing to actually paint them. However, the resin will not give you a lot of flex or anti-powdering capabilities, so this resin will not actually work for articulating parts. The Elegoo ABS Like 3.0 resin is a very usable resin for action figures simply due to the flexibility of the parts. Although it cannot be used to make an action figure on its own, it will contribute greatly towards accessories and effects. The transparent colors also allow for a lot of possibilities and you will have a wide range of colors to select from. The green lantern parts I printed out work very well and I will be definitely using the Elegoo ABS Like transparent resin for effect parts and other accessories. 
Elegoo have also sent me a translucent red, so I am excited to try that out in my future projects. You should consider this resin to keep in your arsenal for effect parts, especially because of the colors available and the low price of the resin. Now, the resin detergent is a mixed bag. 5 liters of IPA would run me about 20 to 25 US dollars, which is less than half the price of the Elegoo resin detergent. The smells of the detergent are definitely more tolerable and the results in terms of cleaning are great. I also found that the detergent gets less cloudy and clumpy compared to IPA with the same amount of use. However, the detergent takes longer to dry as compared to IPA, which could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on the scenario. The slippery after effect of the detergent on the parts is slightly jarring as it is not the same slippery as an unclean resin but it still feels like you're not done cleaning. So with all that being said, I simply cannot recommend the detergent because of the price. So that is everything tried and tested. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative in some way. Please let me know in a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions. Your likes are always appreciated and your subscription helps me and my channel grow greatly. So that is all we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.